guys. So I get asked all the time if I have any advice or words of wisdom to somebody who's just coming up in the automotive industry or just trying to get their first job or start out in their career. And so I figured I'd take a few moments to kind of share my thoughts on how I got my start and what I've learned over the years as a technician, as a shop owner, and as a shop management consultant working with uh, shop owners and hiring managers and service advisors all over the country. So I think the biggest thing that I could say um, for me that made a difference in my career was choosing to go to a technical school. So I had zero experience. I really knew very little about cars. I didn't grow up around cars. My dad wasn't a mechanic. My mom wasn't a mechanic. They have no idea where I came from. Um, but I just had this love of working with my hands and this desire to fix things. I loved the puzzle of it, of taking something apart and figuring out how it works. But I had no experience. And I think I knew, especially as a woman, um, that people weren't really gonna take me seriously if I just walked into a shop and, and asked to get a job. So I, I knew that I needed as many credentials and certifications and qualifications as I could possibly muster so that people would take me seriously. And I think that's true not just for, for ladies out there, but I think for guys as well. The more obstacles you have in your way, the harder it is to get to your goal. And if your goal is to become a technician, then we know that there are some obstacles that are in the way, right? When you're inexperienced and you're young and you're new, the industry doesn't always take too kindly to that because let's be honest, hiring managers, they want somebody who can start making the money right away, hit the ground running and kind of knows their stuff. The problem is, is how do you get experience if nobody will give you a chance to get any experience? And if nobody will let you get your foot in the door, then you gotta start somewhere. And I think technical school is kind of the place to do that. It gives you legitimacy. It shows that you're serious about this career path. And it really accelerates your career and kind of gets one of those obstacles out of the way. You're still young and you're still inexperienced, but at least you've shown, right, that you're serious about this and that you're committed to it. So going to Universal Technical Institute was great for me. Uh, going to any technical school, I think, is a great decision to really accelerate your career path. And yes, it's a lot of money. And yes, it's a lot of time. However, you know, I could start at the bottom of the totem pole and I can slowly work my way up and eventually, yeah, I'm gonna get there, right? But if it's gonna take me this long versus this long, I wanna start out as high as I possibly can and I wanna remove as many obstacles as possible so I can accelerate my career. That's just the way I look at things. So Universal Technical Institute was a great call for me. Um, I came across it kind of accidentally. Um, I was looking for schools, I didn't really know what I was looking for, and I fortunately stumbled in, into a great thing that then led me to the BMW STEP program and allowed me uh, that opportunity and BMW then really opened doors because when you go to a graduate program after technical school um, The dealerships are hungry for those students coming out of the graduate program and really I came out years ahead of where I would have been if I had started out just knocking on doors saying, please hire me and give me a chance. So that's number one. 